Welcome guys. This is the Dual Rio. It's got its internal filter here. Quite a big long box. That's from above. You have your heater in there. The filter pump is in there. But I've currently taken out the motor because I'm cleaning the impeller and that's where the media goes. So let's go to the media. Just before we do the media, this is the, the little pump that I took out. And that is literally twisted anti-clockwise. And inside there is an impeller. And like most impellers, you just pull them out, clean inside and everything and then squeeze it back on. These are the two media holders. You kind of pull them out from the top. That's quite good. Now this is how they were. These blocks together. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and put in here a couple of bags of bio media. Because there is no bio media in here. You're just using the foams, which, you know, do her house a bit of back beneficial bacteria but they're not the most ideal now here's some biomedia that I have got left over you've got your ceramic rings and we've got some alpha grog and uh, so I need to get like a bag or something I can put that in that will sit in here because obviously it's not going to keep it in. So I originally bought these bio rings. Um, they were quite cheap, the fish are fun ones. And they came about four bags of bio media in these bags. But I've taken it out to put it into an external canister, which can put the bio media in there. Maybe two bags worth. Uh, you might have a better container, don't know what you might have, but uh, that's what I have handy. Yeah, people are also asking how do you clean your foams. You, most people say clean it in your existing uh, tank water when you do a change. When you've got a bucket full of uh, old tank water, you can rinse these through. I mean, that's fine. Now, I've, so this is a new filter, new tank that I've got, so I don't know what's on here. Um, and because I've got the biomedia, I'm not necessarily worried about killing off any bacteria on this. So I'm usually quite happy to use my cold tap. I've had white foam before and I've blasted it like that and it's gone from looking dirty to pretty good. Now for one, it's an interpet and if this is a fluval tank, that should be labelled fluval. So that's not the original that I would think. And it's only 100 watts. So for a 180 tank, this is too small. This is only for like 100 litres. And even then, with the 100 litres, probably worth getting one a little bit higher. If they're, no, if they're no more price, then that way you've got something that's not going to be working too hard. Luckily, in my bag of bits, I've got a brand new 200 watt. I bought this before I end up getting the Fluva one with the digital. So I've only used this a couple of times, so that's going to go in. And the other thing is with this is... Will you be able to see the light when the heat is coming on and off? Because in a way that's, you know, you kind of nice to see what's going on, a little bit of interaction. But anyway, that's my 200 watt one going in. So the, the bottom part is going to have the bio media. I've got bio rings in there and a little bit of miscellaneous bio and above that the carbon, carbon pad 
Now the carbon usually is last. I don't really want to put it straight at the bottom where it would get potentially covered, you know, more mucky down there. So and I've actually still got space in there, so I could always add a bit more media at another time. That's the first one in. Now the top one, what we need is the roughest, most porous foam first, which looks like that one. And then this is a medium, which I think that might be, I'm not sure which is the nitrate. I kind of recognize that color as allegedly the nitrate thing. Um, and then I've got one I was going to use, which is a fine, which has the sur extra surface area, which needs to be have the bumps upwards because the yeah, water's coming in that way. But I have gone and got myself some f filter, fine filter floss. This is fine filter floss, which then will go at the bottom like that. So I need to put those in there, like so, and put them in. So that is done. And there's actually a gap at the top. I could put another coarse foam up the heater out this hole onto the pads. And then water is also drawn in at the top here onto the pads goes down. And somewhere there and below, it gets taken into the pump and comes out there. So that's what you need. So when I have these fine filter flosses on top, is how they're shipped with, but that's going to get so much muck. All the thick muck is, there's no point in having coarse foams underneath fine. If the fine is filtering out everything, then these aren't going to filter out anything. Um, yeah, if they're bio stroke foam, they may hold, hold a bit of uh, beneficial bacteria. But at the end of the day, you're going to keep replacing these bio pads. These weren't too expensive for five for just under four pound so that's not too bad um these about eight pound or so so it is a bit cheaper than that anyway so that's going to go through and the big particles are going to get filtered then more medium particles and then you've got the filter floss which is the fine take all the fine particles out and then it goes through the carbon which filters out the uh, odors and chemicals. And then at the bottom, we've got the biomedia where all the bacteria, the beneficial bacteria will take out the ammonia, the nitrites. And then as it cycles and develops, we'll start to get rid of the nitrates as well.